Today's topic is about uh, being in high school and you are interested in someone in high school, either a girl or a guy, depending on you know what your preferences are. And um, I guess what? You're shy. Maybe a little bit embarrassed, I don't know. But you'd like to gain their attention. You'd like to look in your way. You'd like to be with them. You'd like them to be your girlfriend or boyfriend, depending on what you want. So how do you go about doing it, especially if you're shy? And that's today's program. And the solution is simple. Um, it's being aware of, are you compatible with that person? Because I've been in situations where we had this new kid in class from the United States. She was from Boston. She was dragged here against her will. You know, this thing it was great grade 10, I guess, and she resented being in Canada to no end. And I would meet, you know, see her in the halls now and then, and, and I would say to her, you know, say nice things to her, show her that I was interested, but um, she had this bitchy attitude, and she was with this other guy, and um, Needless to say, it ended up in a very embarrassing situation for me, not for her, because she had the upper end. So the first thing you got to remember is what type of person is that that you are interested in or have uh, interest in? And be careful of that individual because some people don't care at all if they embarrass you, especially in high school. And, um, you know, and if you think that's a nice person to be with and this, that situation is not going to happen, then it is your opportunity to be with her. Try, first of all, to get in a seating position that you're near this person. And then offer to help them with their schoolwork in any way you can, either, uh, with studies, don't do their homework for them, don't let them take advantage of you or make you into a slave. And oh, there's a part of my head here. You know, just get to know them better, have them know you better. And uh, it doesn't hurt to uh, just look their way on occasion and just stare right at them. And if you can, smile at them while you're staring. That's an immediate indicator to that person that you like them and that you would like to meet them and spend time with them. So if the opportunity comes up to do that, take it. If uh, you're very shy and you can't do that, then I suggest just uh, talking to them, or just walking past them, say hi. The very fact that you said hi or hello to them, they will be thinking about you, and thinking about why did that person say hi to me or hello to me today. And if you do it enough, then you're showing that individual that, that uh, you are interested in them. Now, another good way is to uh, follow them into the lunchroom and try to sit with them or near them when you're in the lunchroom or the cafeteria depending on what you call it um, also uh, if you own an umbrella if you take an umbrella with you to class or school even with those little fold up ones and it's raining out quite bad you may have the opportunity to hold that umbrella over their head or offer to hold it over their head while you're walking home and it gives you an opportunity to walk home together walk directly to their address and then uh, take it from there I mean once you break the ice with somebody and 
here. You're both high school students. Once you break the ice with that other person, it becomes easier to communicate. So you want to form some situation or some avenue in which you can talk to that person and open up the conversation. And as I said, if you've got someone whose head is on right, whose head is on straight, then you're going to have a much easier time. But I'm telling you, if this individual is a snob or got a bad attitude, find somebody else. Just avoid them because you know what? They're just going to embarrass you. And that's it for today's topic. Next topic. Not sure right now. I will post it in the uh, next column, or the next advertisement column that comes after the show. Okay, thanks for watching. We will see you soon.